Hey everyone, it's Mike here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a thumbnail sketch into a promotional poster. Although this demonstration was done using the Affinity Designer software, the principles may be applicable to other design software as well. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We'll start off by creating a new document by going over to File, New, and then select the Print tab. Then let's choose the One Sheet Poster Template. Then we'll head over to the Layout Options and check the Create Artboard box. After that, click Create. Now let's zoom out and duplicate the artboard by holding down the option, left click and drag, or if you're on a PC, it's Alt, left click and drag. Next, let's go ahead and rename the artboards. The first one will be called Thumbnails, and the other one will be called Design. All right, now that we have our artboards set up, let's move on and create some thumbnail sketches. With the thumbnail artboard selected, let's head up to the Persona toolbar and select the Pixel Persona. Now we can use our brush tool to sketch out some thumbnails. Thumbnail sketches are useful in the design process because it allows you to experiment with different layout ideas. So with that said, I'm going to create some thumbnail sketches and I'll check back with you shortly. All right, as you can see, my thumbnail sketches aren't detailed at all. They're just simply layouts that includes the important elements, such as the logo text, which are represented by the rectangles with the hatching, and an image of the product that is represented by an X or a box with an X inside of it. These sketches would all work well, but I've decided to go with the second thumbnail sketch because I would like the image to fill up the entire poster. Now we can move on to the design stage. With the design artboard selected, let's head back up to the persona toolbar and select the designer persona. Since I have a pre-made logo, I can simply add it to the artboard by heading over to File, Place, then locate the logo, and then place it into the design artboard, like so. Next, I'm going to head over to the stock palette, and if you don't have that open, you can find it by heading to the top to View, Studio, and Stock. Here, you can search out any royalty-free images and use them for your own design projects. I'm going to search for burrito because I want this poster to have a buy one get one free burrito promotion. Okay, this photo looks good because there's more than one burrito in it and I like how the negative space can be used as a focal point. So credit to Ryan Concepcion for sharing this awesome image. Next, let's rotate this photo 90 degrees and to give it a vertical or portrait orientation. Then let's resize and position it like so. After that, let's lower the opacity of the photo because the contrast and the saturation will compete with the 
logo and the text. Now let's add the buy one get one text. Before we continue adding more text, let's add a frame for this poster by simply creating a rectangle shape and turning off the fill color. And then let's give it a stroke of eight points. All right, let's get back to adding the and editing the rest of the text. So I'm going to speed this part of the video up and I'll check back with you shortly. Okay, now let's add some filler text at the bottom to represent the uh, disclaimer or terms and conditions. So let's select the frame text tool. Then we're going to drag a rectangle shape and head up to the top and select text, insert filler text. And now we can edit the filler text. All right, last but not least, let's add some outer shadow to the logo and um, buy one, get one free burrito text. And that should wrap up this video on how to turn a thumbnail sketch into a poster design. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something from it. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing for more creative content and design tutorials in the near future. On that note, I'll see you next time.